Hello everyone, I am Shruti Vijargi from BISP Solution. In this video, I am talking about how to import data from Excel into R. So, our two main options will be to save the data file as a comma separated values or the .csv file or as a tab delimited text file with .txt extension. Saving it as a CSV file is probably easier and the better way to go. So, let's go ahead with an example of Excel. I have a data file in an Excel format. So, first I am going to save this file as .csv extension. For this, just save as with .csv and save. Yes. So this file will be saved as a .csv extension. Now let's import this file into R. So I have go ahead. The first option for importing data, importing data is to use the read.csv command. You can access the help menu by typing help. And in brackets, the name of the command you will like help for. So read.csv. Just enter. So this will open the link where you can find the help for this .csv file. Now let's import this data into R. There is another way for help of read.csv file. Just write put question mark in front of a command and enter. So this will also open the same link. Now for importing csv file in R what I am do what I am going to do is I am write creating an object data 1 and now write the command read.csv now the first argument to specify is the file normally R would like us to specify the path to find the file here but a command to know in R is the file dot choose function rather than specifying the full path to find the file and this uh, this will result in a menu popping up allowing us to select the data file directly and the second argument that we have to specify is the header argument we can set this equals to true T stands for true to let R know that the first row of our data sets are variable names or headers. If the first row does not contain variable name, then we set it to false. False. Now enter. So this will open the file options. Here we have to select our file. So I'm selecting data CSV file open. Now if I write data one and run so the file is open in R so the data set will be imported we can also see in the workspace this object data1 if I run ls command so in the workspace data1 is created okay we can also import this data using the more generic read.table command so for that I am creating another object read data2 and writing read dot table command the same file will be open with read dot table command and just also take the same argument file dot choose and the second argument is the header setting it to to know that the first uh, row is the variable name and the third argument it takes is the scp it is called the separator so for the comma separated value it just take comma and then enter here we also have the SCP arg argument letting R know how the data values are separated so data values are separated with comma so without quotations we will place comma now if I run this object so this will open the same file okay now I am going to save my excel file in a text file as a text file so for saving the same file as a text file just go to the save as option and I am giving it name data txt 
and from the save as type I am selecting text tape delimited and then save okay yes so for this uh, now let's import this file in our R studio for this we use read dot delim command in R to import the tab delimited text file so let's create an another object data 3 and write read dot delim command and the first argument is the file dot choose so that window is open for selecting our file the second argument is header setting it to and then enter so data text file can be selected open and now run data 3 so the file will be imported in a text format we can also run this command also with the help of read.table for creating data for object and the same command with the read.table file dot choose function header equals to two t must be capital so that r will know that it is stands for two and it is separated with the tab oh, and now run so the text file will be opened with the read dot table command also so this is how we can open our text and dot csv file in r if you have any doubts you can ask me thanks for watching